Okay, so we're at Dan's house. We're focused on a, a furnace replacement. We've got a, a new AC and coil from 2015. Uh, Seawood furnace. I'm looking at the back side, um, but I'll show you the front. This one's um, a 1997 Lennox, 90% uh, efficient furnace. It's 21 wide, it's 46 high. You can see the return coming down. It's quite a uh, fat return. It's 12 inches wide and then 20 deep. And we do have some room. We've got about seven inches between the side of that return and the and the wall. And we're pretty tied up on the on the water heater. So just want to make a note of that. Um, the uh, piping. Somebody did a good job on the piping. We've got uh, two uh, three inch making its way out. And you can see there's a good slope on that. And there's a two pipe when we get outside. So we should be able to reuse piping. We've got our uh, drain close by uh, for condensation and then we've got, um, you can see the room that we've got in front, shut off for the gas. So everything in good shape here. So what I'm going to suggest we do is with the new furnace we come back with a base. We can get the same width that'll match up with the coil. I might show you from the back side. We do have a new, a newer humidifier. Um, right now, the filter's inside the furnace, so we be able to improve on that by um, getting a, a media filter on the side. So we'll update the return drop, be able to fit a, a media filter on the side, and then the furnace on a base. And then, if we need to shut off power, uh, the breaker panel. If you're looking at the house from the street, is on the left side, just towards the back. You just see it um, it's tucked in there some new panel new um, house has been rewired and then for access getting in and out this is a walkout so we're like in a utility area so we've got um, a concrete area the concrete flooring then we can get out through this door here and then uh, that'll take the right side of the house will be the easiest way to come and go uh, that's it.